I gotta get started on this recording. I gotta get started on this uh, video. So, units. Let's see. I hope people have made an easier units guide. What uh, the? 24 minutes. That's only for the Grand Cathay. And this is for best units. 19 minutes. 24, 24, 18, core 12. Okay, that's not too bad, but it's only core. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's time for an easy guide for the beginners out there. Probably. Yeah, I think I think it's time. If you guys are not really here for seriousness and just here to learn more RTS games, then this is a video for you. The first type of unit we're gonna be talking about are the sword infantry or the melee types. These guys are pretty good in close range combat. They're your frontline units, so keep them in the front to protect your missiles. But anything else that's like monsters or freaking missiles or anything that's just faster than the speed of light, do not engage them with your freaking sword units because they will not last long. Please do not. The next unit on the line we're going to be talking about are the Spirians. These guys are pretty good against cavalry and any type of monsters that get in your way. But beware if they're armor type monsters or armor type cavalry, they will not be very good at them. That will be another jump for the next unit that we're going to be talking about. Next unit on the line is the Polearm Infantry. They are excellent against armor infantry, armor cavalry, and armor monsters as well. Do not engage any sword infantry or missile infantry with the polearm infantry because they will not last long with these two units like how it lasts long on a treadmill so please don't do it great sword units are really strong against armored infantry units so make sure you guys use these guys in the flanks or usually in the front as well since these guys are really good at charging at units and they're really good at flanking but they're not really good when it comes to their front lines make sure Pull them out as fast as possible if you have any units around. Axe units have a little buff against armored infantry, so make sure you put them on the front line since they also have a shield, but they're not really good against chasing missile units. So keep in the front lines, keep blocking those missile damages for your archer units to fire, and you'll be fine. The new units that came into Warhammer 3 that I'm very happy about are the hybrid units. These guys are the jack of all traits of all units, basically melee and missile together. So make sure, as much as they are pretty good doing both tasks, they do not excel at one of them. So make sure, pair them up with either some other missile units or, majority of the time, pair them up with melee units. Trust me, it's worth it. The first line of missile infantry is going to be the bow infantry. They have good high rates of fire, so make sure you keep a couple of big numbers with them as well. They're really strong against unarmored units, but they're very weak against armored units. So Keep that in mind, do not keep them shooting against armored units or even monsters because they will lose. Crossbow units don't really have arm piercing damage with Grand Cafe units, with two of the freaking crossbow units that we have, except for the elite crossbow unit that has arm piercing damage, which is kind of confusing why the other two crossbow units don't really have any type of armor piercing. So yeah, that's great. I like with the friggin' must game. They're technically called gun infantry instead of musk infantry, but they are pretty good against armor units since they do have armor piercing damage. Keep them at long range though, never keep them in close range. If you do keep them in close range, make sure you have some melee backup with them. Post quarters missile infantry is basically what it sounds like. They can basically blast people to smithereens at close range with armor piercing damage, but keep that in mind. Make sure you back them up with uh, melee units because these guys are not good at close quarters combat. Only missile shooting. Specialist missile tech units exclusively from the Grand Cafe faction are basically the longer range units. They are the snipers of your group. And they also have a shield so they can be protected against missile units from skirmish to skirmish. But they're not good at close range combat, so like I said before, with all the other missile units, keep a melee range unit as well. Wait, melee. Cavalry are pretty good against missile units. They're very fast, and they can be able to draw out for hit and run tactics. So use them in charges, never use them in prolonged combat, because of the fact they don't really have any armor. So make sure you go up against uh, missile units instead of using them against melee units. Shock cavalry are the armored units of the regular cavalry. They're pretty good against any type of infantry and missile infantry except for the spear and polearm infantry. So make sure you use them with hit and run tactics if you go up against spear and polearm infantry. And with monster units, good luck trying to escape from that. There are many forms of artillery, but the main thing that artillery do is do long range damage. So basically keep them at long range. They're very good whenever it comes to bombarding down enemies or peppering them down until your melee units can engage with them. 
but if they do get close range combat with any cavalry missile units or especially with melee units as well they will get demolished so make sure you have some backup with them guard the artillery at all costs missile calves are not very popular in this game but are still here anyhow and i do not like it they're strong against any type of unit that is slower than them but they're pretty weak against longer range units such as gun infantry, missile, cavalry, any other missile cavalry, crossbow, and other artillery units as well carded by melee infantry. So make sure you pair them up with some shock cavalry or other type of uh, melee cavalry and you'll be fine with the missile cavalry or you're gonna hate it. Chariots or slash sleds are extremely strong with infantry when they are charging. So make sure you guys keep them charging or else if, you, if they stop, they will be exploited by any type of unit that they see fit, basically. So basically like a hummingbird, you know, you can't have them stop moving or else they're dead. Monstrous infantry can go into the forms of sword, halberd infantry, kind of like your anti-infantry. Mostly anti-infantry is what these monstrous infantry are for. They can also be anti-large, which means they can take over monsters or any other like horse infantry as well. Make sure you keep them with some other infantry so that they can be part of the flanks or you can use them in the front as well. They're kind of like your cavalry units, just slower, but they're more meatier and grindier as usual. But make sure you avoid them with missile infantry because they do tend to be demolished by missile infantry because, you know, they're pretty slow. So make sure you're aware of that. Monstrous missile infantry or monstrous cannon infantry are pretty good at long range and they're pretty decent at melee as well. As long as they're not going up against spear or pole arm infantry or any type of anti-large units. So make sure you pair them up with some units that are pretty strong against anti-large units. Basically. And Montrose Cavalry are just the beefier versions of regular cavalry and shock cavalry combined. And they're also better than missile cavalry because of the fact these guys can run pretty fast, but they're a little bit slower than usual. But they do take a lot of beams from missile and from units. So keep these guys in the front line and also keep them in the flanks as you would with cavalry. But make sure be aware that as much as monstrous cavalry is pretty beefy they are pretty weak against anti-large as well so make sure you pair them up with some units that do go up against anti-large units flying units are pretty good whenever it comes to getting into melee units it's kind of like you know zone basically they are pretty good harassers hit and run tactics but they're very weak against melee units even though they charge in so make sure only pick on with the artillery and with the missile units because missile units and artillery can't really catch up to them if they're being distracted by your other armies basically so flying units are pretty good whenever it comes to just with the flanks as just like regular cavalry war beasts are your freaking chihuahuas of warhammer 3 they're not really good whenever against any type of units but they're pretty decent against missile and also artillery units just for harassing and trying to get them distracted basically but they're basically pests like chihuahua so don't worry mind with the war beast but if you really had to go for targets go for like i said for range units monsters are the pinnacle of warhammer 3 total war units they are freaking massive they can demolish anything in their path basically they're strong against any type of unit especially their weakness anti-large units such as spears pole arms freaking monstrous spear units anything like that it's nothing well this is something you might as well just pair them up with some other units such as cavalry or with some other units as well to back them up during the fight and they will accomplish anything you like flying monsters are the freaking steroids of regular monsters but they can just fly all over the map and freaking harass anything except they're just your pit bulls of your flying units of total war so they can destroy anything but be aware they're very weak against missile units so make sure you keep them on the ground at sometimes whenever there's any missile units the last unit for today is the missile monsters these guys are pretty monsters whenever it comes to catapult throwing or projectile throwing and they're pretty good when they're defending themselves against other like smaller targets and just like other kind of like weaker cavalry and such but be aware these guys are pretty bad against missiles if they do get targeted by multiples of them and they only have one projectile so it's going to take them a long time to reload so be aware of that please so thank you for coming out today to watch this video if you guys learned something make sure you guys subscribe and like and comment down below of what other rts games i should probably do some guides on 
uh, you guys did kind of like the space guide for empire at war vanilla version so i might want to do i believe like a probably like a mods for them basically i might want to do some guides for basically the fall of the republic thorns revenge i thorns revenge Awakening of the rebellion and the remake as well they have a new set of updates that had came out the grand update so i highly recommend checking that out i also do stream on twitch.tv slash jk strategies every thursday for not th every thursday and saturdays uh, i believe thursdays will be from 2 p.m and then I believe uh, Saturdays will be on 8 p.m., you guys. So make sure you guys check that out. All right, guys. Thank you for coming out today. And I will see you all later. Port Republic. Have a good day.